Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here, and today I have a very special guest with me. This is my friend Dylan. Hi! Today, Dylan and I are going to show you what happens when water gets polluted. We're going to do a hands-on demonstration. You're going to help me, right? Okay. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Of that 71%, only 1% is drinkable. So this bowl that has water in it, if it represents 71% of the Earth's surface, if I were to take out one drop of that water, that is what's drinkable. The other 71% is locked up in various different ways. Some of it's salt water, some of it's frozen in the ice caps, and some of it is just straight up polluted. So today, Dylan and I are going to show you how the water gets polluted. How did you get here today, Dylan? I got here in Mom's truck. You did. So if you've ever ridden in a car or a truck, the car or truck probably leaks some kind of oil. Would you like to put the oil in the water? Yes. And show how the pollution works? Makes bubbles. Like the bubbles. Makes oily bubbles, huh? Yeah. And have you ever put your trash out at night? so that the garbage man can come and pick it up. And sometimes an animal will get in there, right, and spread the trash around. And then the trash, when it's on the ground, can get carried by the wind to a water source like a river or an ocean. So have you ever washed your car, Dylan? Yes, my you, car. Yeah. I mean my dad's car. Your dad's car. So if you wash your car, all of the water, you can pour it in there, all of the water that's soapy and bubbly runs down the driveway into the storm drain and then that soapy bubbly water ends up in the ocean or the river. And if you've ever cleaned out the garage and found some sort of mystery substance and just sprayed it away with a hose, yes. all of that spray yep. also runs down the driveway and into the storm drain which leads to an ocean or a river. It's looking pretty yucky, huh? Yeah. You're welcome. And factories and farms also have runoff, and that runoff runs down into the storm drain and in the water system. And if you ever put fertilizer into your dirt when you plant your garden, yes. or sometimes pesticides, right, to keep the bugs away from plants, sometimes the dirt and the rain from erosion ends up running down through the storm drain and winds up in a river or an ocean. So now, Dylan, we have a bowl full of dirty water, right? Yes. Does that look like it would be good to drink? No. Does it look like it would be good for your dogs to play in? Nope. Nope. That would be too, too yucky. Too yucky. Now we're going to tell everybody something that they can do to help conserve a little bit of water, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you brush your teeth, Dylan? You put toothpaste, and then you put water. And then you brush, 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 and then you turn the water on, and then you spit out, and then it rinses all the spit out. Exactly. So it's very, very important when you're doing that. For the two minutes that you're brushing, you should leave the water off, because if you leave the water on while you're brushing, this is how much water's wasted. You can waste a full two gallons of water. So if you choose to shut off the water while you're brushing, you can save up to 700 gallons of water over the course of a year. If you want weekly ocean and conservation information, click subscribe. Thanks for helping me with the demonstration, Dylan. Okay. Bye. Bye.